Hey guys, I'm here to read you another book. This book is called, If You Give a Dog a Donut. The author is Laura Numeroff. Do you remember what the author does? Think. You're right, the author writes the words. The illustrator is Felicia Bond. What does the illustrator do? Draws the pictures, awesome. Kiss your brain. We're gonna find out what happens if you give a dog a donut. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask for more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. What do you think you need to make apple juice? Maybe some apples? He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll want to play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. What else could you use for baseball? If you have a ball and a glove, get a bat. Of course, he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Look at that ball soar. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Can you do a happy dance? Happy dance. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Arr, matey. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And if he wants apple juice, what do you think he'll want with it? And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. If you predicted a donut, you were right. Awesome job. All right, we'll see you next time. Hope you guys are staying healthy.